Hi, you have clicked on today's tropical tidbit for Friday over here in the Atlantic. Still have a couple of little regions to watch. We have Invest 96L sitting over here in the eastern Gulf of Mexico, and we have a tropical wave which is interacting with Trinidad and northeastern Venezuela this morning on its way west northwest towards the Caribbean, and we will be watching both of these features over the next few days. If we zoom in on Invest 96L over here, from what I can tell, the surface circulation that was in here yesterday has pretty much vanished and has been replaced by a weak surface trough and convection is meager with this and as expected this upper low that is sitting off to its northwest south of New Orleans is providing enough wind shear over the top of it that it's blowing the thunderstorms off and not allowing the surface circulation to really wind up and pressures are not able to lower as much as they would in the absence of the wind shear and thus this is going to have a hard time getting going and will be moving north towards the Florida panhandle with little or no strengthening and will be mainly a rainfall event for Florida. These are the track models showing the BAM suite a little bit too far west, I believe, here. This will probably follow a track straight north to north northeast towards the Florida Panhandle and then eventually curve off this way. And the Canadian tries to develop it out here along a frontal boundary. I believe that any deepening of the low pressure would be non-tropical in nature, so probably not too much of a concern there if it gets back out over the water and will probably move on out to sea and continue to gain latitude and get caught up in the westerlies in the mid-latitude pr uh, pressure belt. Now, as I mentioned, there's this other feature, this tropical wave approaching the Leeward Antilles that we will be watching over the next few days as it moves west-northwest, sneaking beneath this upper trough north of the Caribbean islands. And as this makes it under that trough into the western Caribbean, we may need to watch this area uh, carefully for potential mischief. The models are still not too excited about this feature, but we will have to watch to see if it tries to interact with the monsoon trough near Central America and tries to get going in this area before making it to the Yucatan and likely getting caught up in this area similar to where Arlene was a little while ago. Again, with the models not really excited about this feature, it's probably not too much of a concern at this point. However, tropical waves coming out of the deep tropics into the Caribbean at this time of year, of course, need to be watched, and so we will be keeping an eye on this area through next week. The GFS has also been hinting at a Cape Verde wave coming off and trying to develop into a little something near the intertropical convergence zone right off the bat as it comes west-southwest of the Cape Verde Islands that has since dropped off of some of the runs and not shown up as strongly none of the other models really catch that so I'm not too concerned about that area however we will have to start turning our eyes out into this area as we get towards the end of this month and into August as the Cape Verde season is closer than we think and it will be starting to fire up within the next three to four weeks and we'll have to start watching out this way for activity as well so overall a fairly quiet basin right now again we still have the MJO over our area of the world we can see that there is scattered convection and cloud cover as upward motion is over this area however it is is not sufficiently organized in any manner right now to warrant significant concern for any kind of tropical development over the next few days. Just a couple of features to watch warily, and again, we should enjoy the quiet while we have it because it will not last all that long. So another thing I wanted to show you guys today is the Global ACE. This is courtesy of Ryan Maui, and as some of you that follow this stuff already know, we are at near 30-year lows in Global ACE right now, both in the Northern Hemisphere and globally. We have reliable records back until about 1970. We had some peaks in 92, 98, and 05, and we have since tanked since 05 down here and we're in a global tropical cyclone drought is what we're in. We had 65 global tropical cyclones in the last 12 months. The average is 87, and we're way down in the tank here. The Atlantic last year contributed far more to the total ACE count for the globe than it usually does, or well, more than double its normal amount because everything else was so quiet, and we tied the Western Pacific for the number of named storms, which is unheard of most of the time. Now, most of us know about this issue, but one more thing that I was noticing yesterday when I was going through some of the maps from the Satellite Services Division, uh, this is the site where you guys have sometimes seen the Tropical Cyclone Formation Probability product, and they have a lot of graphs down there for different variables, and one of them is for vertical instability for each basin. This is for the Caribbean, uh, not the Caribbean, the Tropical Atlantic over here, and they measure vertical instability as the vertical average temperature difference between the equivalent potential temperature of a parcel of air lifted from the surface to the 200 millibar level and 
the difference between that and the saturation equivalent potential temp temperature of the environment. And I won't get into the equations that they use to derive that. I'm not going to bore you guys with that. But what we need to know here is that if it is low, the vertical instability is below normal and showing that convection is not as likely to occur naturally in the atmosphere when this is low. This is the climatological mean line here in black and this is the actual values measured here in blue and this is for the tropical Atlantic showing it below normal, fairly well below normal right now. The Caribbean is even a little bit farther below normal and then I'm going to go over to the Eastern Pacific which is showing this even farther or below normal. The Central Pacific way below normal. The Western Pacific Zone 1 way below normal. Zone 2 in the Western Pacific very far below normal and Zone 3 in the Western Pacific finally really far below normal. And this is significant because every basin that is available on here, they don't have the Indian Ocean on this product, but I would be willing to bet that they're even a little bit below normal. The entire global tropics are showing below normal vertical instability, and I have not seen this on this product since it's been out. It's been out since 2000, and I have not seen this level of stability in the tropics based on what this product measures. I don't know how accurate it really is, but I have not seen this shown in quite a while. And even in the Atlantic, on a year like this, generally, even the quiet years in the Atlantic will have greater instability than what we are currently seeing, which is interesting because, again, you know, we're forecasting an active hurricane season this year for the Atlantic, and yet the vertical instability is still below normal right now, which is interesting. It'll be interesting to see if that's a wild card that comes into play when we start counting up the numbers at the end of the season. But to have every other basin in the world showing very low vertical instability through the summer as we get into July here is very interesting to see and it'll be intriguing to research this and see if there's any kind of global circulation in play here along with the low ACE that is contributing to this and perhaps something that we haven't fully discovered yet in terms of cycles that occur in tropical activity and how hurricanes contribute to the global climate. So very cool stuff. I just figured I would share that with you guys uh, with the global cyclone drought that we're in right now and with the Atlantic hurricane season getting ready to kick in and vertical instability below normal. It is some very interesting times happening right now in the tropics. All right, that is it for today. Thanks for watching.